Wild is Famous is uh, becoming a game I really, really enjoy. Why? Because at face value, it looks like this thing, oh, Kyle's Famous. Like, I mean, it's not the most exciting of menus, but once you dive deep into it, you realize Kyle might actually not only just be famous, but he's in danger. Last episode, if you missed last episode, this is the third episode of this series of Kyle is Famous, so, you know, check them out. But I am worried for Kyle and his well-being, not only because he's straight up stupid and he does horrible things like eat his refrigerator, but the person he's interviewing might just be guilty. <laughs> guilty of what? That's what I don't know. And that's what I need to find out. See, you guys have actually been leaving comments telling me that she is guilty. You just haven't done it right. There's still a ton of innings that we need to get. But, you know, I need to know. I need to know what's going on. So Dan and Christine over here said, you need to get a phone before asking Rachel if she is guilty. I thought it was a joke, but when you actually start asking if she's guilty, she starts getting sweaty. Rachel's eyes twitched slightly. Guilty of what, dear Kyle? She smiled disingenuously. Oh my gosh, she is is guilty. I knew it. Guilty spat Kyle of your crimes and everything you do, Rachel. Oh, oh, she's really guilty. Okay, so how do we get this phone? All right, let's start the game back up again. Kyle is famous. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Isn't there a tech store, right? We can go to a tech store and maybe that's how we get the phone. So let's go ahead and exit the bed. Open the closet. We should probably put on clothes. That's what I would think. Maybe we should actually keep the suit of armor. I'm just really guessing at this point, but I think maybe we should keep the suit of armor on. That way, if Rachel gets, you know, maybe Rachel's gonna freaking snap and go crazy and try to kill us, but if we have the suit of armor on, I feel like I'm really onto something here, and I don't care what you say, I'm putting on the suit of armor. Because, you know, I didn't think there was any intentional or actual purpose for the armor, but now I really think that there is one. So, do we have money? I would imagine that we have money. So maybe we can use that to buy a phone. I, I, I don't really know. This is really trial and error here. So let's go to the hallway and then leave the apartment. Go to the tech store. We haven't really explored the tech store uh, just yet. But we do have to write some notes as well because we have to be able to ask her if she is guilty, right? The only thing we've done at the store so far is still techno gym. But I don't see how that's going to do anything. Maybe what we should do is ask for free samples. Wait, like a phone? <laughs> Kyle asked the store attendant whether or not they offered any free samples to important customers. <laughs> oh, important. There he goes again, Kyle's making me angry already. I am an important customer. You know I have my own live stream? The attendant gave Kyle a confused and slightly vacant look. Kyle began to beg for a free sample. Please! I am famous! Do you know how many subscribers I have? Wanting Kyle to leave, the attendant grabbed a decrepit phone. Oh my god, why? You actually do get a phone. Meant for spare parts and held it out. Grab with <laughs> Dude, I just picture it looking like that that uh that episode of SpongeBob where Squidward tries to bite the Krabby Patty <laughs> with the, instead of a phone this time. Let's grab with teeth. Kyle firmly clamped his mouth around the outstretched phone, creating several teeth holes on the screen. Oh, I'm so stupid. Why did I do these things? It's just so hard not to make these dumb decisions. More. Kyle grunted and yanked with his head until the attendant let go of the phone. He's like, let go. The phone is now Kyle's to use forever. Okay, so I don't know everything about this game. Maybe the, the red text means that we have a key item uh, because sometimes things are blue as well. So let's go back to the shop. Give a review a free sample. All right, well, okay, it's again, trial and error here, right? So let's just do this. We at least know how to get the phone now. This phone, said Kyle, is several years old and has exposed wires coming out of the back. Probably not good for biting then. Kyle continued, the phone has also had screen issues after I used it to hammer nails into the wall for painting. Wow, everyone knows that use phones for hammers, okay? And this one is just really, really bad. One star. Okay, because Kyle's opinion matters because remember, he's famous. Furthermore, when I submerge it in water, I get severely shocked until it runs out of battery. The attendant looked at Kyle, pursed his lips, and said nothing. Yeah, you should feel ashamed of yourself. You know how famous I am? Oh, it ruined you. Feeling he had made his argument, Kyle decided to leave. Leave the store. Okay, what was the point of that? Okay, well, I guess we have the phone. I think maybe we have some time to actually write some notes. So let's go back to the apartment. I want to know why we have to go to the neighbor. Maybe there's- oh god. I get so excited. Let's go to the bedroom, right? Sit at the desk, write the notes for the interview. Uh, we're gonna make it very <laughs> awkward as always. I don't even know if it matters. Is your mother a mother? Okay, we haven't asked her this. Ever eaten a raw egg whole? Let's ask, do you ever smile? And then, are you guilty? Back to desk. Okay, well, I think that's it. I think we've pretty much done it. I just hope we didn't ruin that phone or something like that, and that hopefully that doesn't, that doesn't ruin it, you know? All right, so once again, we go back to the studio. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking at him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Yes. I know some secrets, Rachel May. Rachel May, did you or did you not do it? Huh, Rachel? That's all right. 
Uh, you know, picture this going, but you know, we'll see. Gotta be polite here, not too crazy just yet. We'll get shake her hand. I forgot to eat. I forgot to eat. I, I, oh my god, this is the same mistake I made last episode. If you don't eat anything, you die, and then they poke you for the rest of the night, and that's exactly. We know more now, right? So that's all we need. Let's uh reset. We're all social media. Wait, why? Why am I able to do that? There's a new option in the morning. We're all social media. Kyle started to scroll through the news articles on his phone. Read article. Wait a minute. This entire time that I beat the game, I've never. Reset, so we never had that option. Stay up late with Kyle Rakes, uh, number one and number two show on television. How we rage for both. New East Bridge being constructed after being found to not actually exist. Uh, authorities investigating. What? <laughs> Wait, is it because we have the phone? Oh yeah, it is. Is that a phone? I don't know what that's supposed to be. Another grand larceny and crime uh, spree streak evidence points to perpetrator fleeing the country. Okay, Rachel. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Rachel May to unexpectedly leave the country on very, very long vacation after interview tonight. Why would she do that? I mean, I did pass out. Does she think she killed me? Maybe she has a... History of killing people? I'm just throwing the things out there. I don't know. Who is the bug vigilante? That's me. <laughs> Get them bugs. Psst. Recently spotting pursuing larcenist. Kyle fails to show up to several charity events. I'm sorry. I'm famous. You're irrelevant, okay? All right. I don't have to do nothing. Bug vigilante shows up to charity events with fresh baked pastries donations flourish. Who's this bug vigilante? <laughs> He sounds horrible. Hot dogs making resurgence as fuel source for both humans and tugboats. Or is this not passing the time at all? Oh, it is. Slowly, though. Phone model recalled. Techno gym stores blame overuse by customers. Is it because I wrote the article? <laughs> Dude, I can't believe this entire time. I, I think I may have been playing this game wrong. Read more. Kyle's phone exploded in his hands for overuse. Get out of bed. No, we need the phone, don't we? Wait, was that it? Was that the reason why we needed to ask uh, uh, Rachel about the the thing? You know, the thingy? Maybe that little piece of news is what we needed to uh, in order to incriminate Rachel. That's all I know. I might just be overplaying this entire thing, but I don't really know. Let's go back to opening the closet, choose an outfit. Again, suit of armor because I feel like that's just uh, something that we should definitely be doing. And um, assuming, I guess we already have our phone, our broken weird phone that actually exploded. Let's write those notes. Again, we just gotta get her guilty. That's really all I care about. Back to desk. Oh, it eats, and we need to eat. Oh God, I hope we have enough time to eat. It takes us an hour to do anything. It's like, <laughs> you move a finger. <laughs> it took an hour to do that. Open fridge. Oh my god! Eat condiments. Maybe, okay, I, I just squirted condiments. <laughs> Kyle started to grab condiments from the fridge, squirting them into his mouth with both hands. The rate at which ketchup, soy sauce, and other items entered Kyle's mouth soon overrode his ability to swallow. Did I die? Oh, okay. All right, I'm just hoping that at least eating those condiments, because we haven't ate them before, is enough for us to not die. I'm really, really hoping. Okay, Rachel. All right. The day is coming. The day of reckoning is coming, Rachel. Okay, I saw like Papa John over here. I've eaten 40 pizzas in 30 days. <laughs> uh, if you don't know about that, just ignore me. All right, Rachel. I really hope this works. Although, I don't know how those condiments are gonna uh, help, you know, what's gonna happen because we ate those condiments. All right, we have a lot to discuss. Let's just dive in. I'm very ready, said Rachel. Oh, I don't think you're ready. Oh, we can just start off asking, are you guilty? Rachel, are you guilty? Rachel's eye twitched slightly. Guilty of what, dear Kyle? She smiled disingenuously. So I know we did this last episode, but I want to get a good recap here. Guilty, guilty spat, Kyle, of your crimes. Rachel did, ooh, we can call the police? Rachel did not. <sighs> Dude, I never heard that before. Did I? I don't know, did I forget already? <laughs> Rachel did not answer. Her eyelids both started twitching uncontrollably. Okay, it's time to call the police. Oh my god! Kyle pulled out his phone and dialed the police! Hello police, said Kyle. I believe I found a criminal. What is this, Yandere Simulator? <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> Through the voice crack of the century right there. Please, come now. There's been a death at Kyle's broadcast. Rachel began to run towards the exit. Stop that woman! On her way, she swatted Kyle's phone out of his hand. Oh, oh, oh! Trip her or let her go. No, 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 we're not gonna let her go. No, no, no. Trip her. Kyle stuck out his leg. Rachel stumbled and crashed to the floor. But in a moment, she was on her feet. She drew out a blunt weapon, seeming. <gasps> but I. Oh my god, I am so smart right now. Bro, I'm so smart. She pulled out a weapon, and it ain't gonna do nothing because guess what? I'm all armored up, baby, okay? She pulled the weapon seemingly out of thin air and started to swing at Kyle. Before Kyle had a chance to react, a figure burst through the roof and blocked Rachel. Oh my god! 
This is my neighbor. <laughs> Dude, this is like an anime. This crap happens in anime. Someone just split, you know, swept it, swept in at the last second. It was a middle-aged woman in a bug-shaped mask. The masked vi the bug vigilante guy thing. <laughs> is this bug hunter beat you, Mike? She was brandishing a bug-shaped stick. <laughs> The woman began to fight with Rachel, flicking her weapon back and forth with surprising speed. Rachel tried to fight back, but it was obvious she was no match for the interceptor. With one quick move, the bug vigilante drew her foot high above her head and drove it straight into Rachel's hand. The weapon clattered to the floor. Uh, Rachel attempted to run again, but was met with a stick to her legs. More. She fell at the feet of a police officer just arriving from Kyle's call. Rachel was charged with seven cases of grand larceny. So she was. I didn't even catch. I didn't even catch that at all. I mean, this is a show, right? I mean, this is why you tune in, right? This is why Kyle's famous. More. After her first month in jail, Rachel started a reality TV show filmed in her cell about prison cooking. The show gained immense popularity, and somehow the public began to love Rachel all the more. Kyle made guest appearances on Rachel's show many times. We're the one who <laughs> arrested her, and we went to her show. The identity of the bug vigilante was never known more. <laughs> why do I say that? I literally don't do that on purpose. I, I did like once, but whatever. She remained a mysterious but important part of local law enforcement's end. Was this it? Was this the true ending? Rachel started a new show. So we get to keep the phone. What other things can we keep? How come we don't get to keep like the key and stuff like that? So what happens if we browse social media now? Okay, same thing. Okay, the new East Bridge. I mean, I thought this was kind of like bullcrap, but maybe this actually is a, a big thing. The East Bridge apparently doesn't exist even though it says it's being constructed. I don't get it. Again, okay, grand larceny. Evidence points to perpetrator leaving the country. It just makes so much- now it makes so much sense because Rachel May also left the country. And the bug vigilante pursuing the larcenists. Man, this game's crazy though. Alright, maybe we should go to those charity events. <laughs> I think the people are starting to, uh, you know, get mad at me. I just realized something, but is this a picture of Kyle? Okay, also for the record, I really thought that she was gonna stab me with the weapon. Can we stop the, the, the bug larcenist or something like that? Should we do it again, but uh, this time let Rachel go? I don't know, let's just see what happens. Maybe we'll get another ending. Well, I mean, we have to, right? So this time we don't, we just need to eat, right? And then, okay, and not be naked, right? We have to put on something. Again, jumping straight to are you guilty? More, 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 call the police. This time we're just gonna let her go and see what happens. Rachel disappeared out the door, never to be seen again. In the coming days, the grand larcenies that had been plaguing the city stopped. Kyle was credited with exposing Rachel's crime spree, but nobody remembered in a couple of weeks. Ah, uh, but I'm Kyle though, man. A month later in the European city that Rachel had planned her vacation to, crime rate skyrocketed. It end. Kyle solved the crime. Kyle has a very, very, very eventful life. If that's not the true ending, now I really want to get to the true ending. I do not expect this game to be so serious. Rachel motioning to the bottle of lard. What is that? Kyle, it's a surprise tool that will help us later. I mean, I still don't know why we actually need the bottle of lard. Is it just, it's just, just to have an awkward ending or is there a, a real reason for the bottle of lard? Can we like use that to capture her? <laughs> I don't know. I know we can die right in the morning, right? First thing we do, get up and die. So let's try doing that. Shucks, we did. Get out of bed anyway. Why would we need to be a ghost? Like, really? I know we can do it to get inside of the, the closed door, which, you know, already confirmed, you can't use the key for that. So if we go to the hallway, right? And then we can, uh, check the locked door and then just phase through it. So that was like the first thing we did and we kind of figured out. Okay, let's just go inside. And what do we get in there again? Laser Claymore. Yeah, so I don't remember what this stuff does. Supernatural Artifact. Uh, grab Artifact. I stashed the mysterious artifact for later use. Well, okay. What do we do with that? Get laser claymore? Back to room. Oh my god, we get a sword? But wait, if we're dead, does that mean we don't need to eat for the interview? Kyle began to comb through the damp piles of filth and mold on his floor and search for helpful items. After finding and eating a few bits of crumbs and old cheese, Kyle found something much more important. Indeed, it was the corpse of Harry, a friend that had gone missing years ago while at Kyle's house. So we just found a dead bo- okay. Kyle was glad to see him again, but was unsure of whether to interrupt such an important day with Harry's business. Deal with Harry- What is going on? Kyle hoisted Derry into his shoulder and took him outside. Kyle began dragging Harry's body down the street, uh, drawing many, many stairs. Kyle knew exactly where he needed to take Harry's corpse on a lovely play day, just the two of them. Kyle. Kyle and Harry started at the arcade. Kyle used Harry's arms to operate the joysticks and push buttons. <laughs> After five or six different games, the two friends had enough tickets for a single candy bar. They took their prize to the local park for eating. 
Kyle tried to feed some of the chocolate bar to Harry, but uh, Harry seemed to not have an appetite. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do that when you're dead, but also I'm kind of dead too, so... After eating, Kyle noticed a nearby playground he dragged Harry over. Kyle tried to figure out a way to swing Harry on the swing set, but lacking the ability to grip, Harry kept falling out. The kids at the park. Instead, Kyle started to lug Harry to the top of the slide and shove him down time and time again. Finally, Kyle took Harry to the movies to see as many popular films as their pocket change allowed. A pocket change? I thought we were famous. Kyle quickly found that he had no pocket change, so he searched through Harry's corpse until he found his wallet. We're still in Ted Beth's wallet now. Come on, Kyle. When will you learn, Kyle? Kyle bought two tickets to a love romance. After getting inside, Kyle let Harry to go find a restroom. By the time Kyle had finished using the restroom, he had forgotten that he had brought Harry, he brought Harry along. Kyle watched a love romance by himself. Harry's corpse Harry's corpse sat on a bench in the atrium. While Kyle was in the movie, a beautiful thing happened. Harry's corpse, imbued with the power of friendship and love, was re We revived- Oh my god, we revived Harry. Harry's old rotten flesh gained color his and life. His fingernails regrew. His missing eye came back. Oh god. Now I really feel bad for those kids. By the time the movie was over, Harry was uh, able to greet Kyle with a large friendly hug and his old self. Kyle was confused but delighted that his long lost friend met him on his way out of the theater. The two made plans to get drinks together and partied and parted ways for the day. This is a long ending. Kyle returned home forgetting about the interview with Rachel and I helped the friend. What is this game? What is this game? <laughs> I just revived a dead body. A scavenge. I guess I haven't really scavenged all that much. Uh, what about gossip? Kyle firmly pressed his ear into the carpet hoping to hear some stray words from the neighbors below. I heard Rachel May is going on a trip out of the country soon. Oh my god, this- all the- everything we need to know about Rachel May is in our carpet. Oh, girlfriend, tell me more. Well, what I will tell you is that every night I don a mask that looks like a bug and fight Miss- Oh my god, our neighbor's the bug- Oh my god. Like, what are the odds that we would press our, uh, ear against the floor and she would just say, Oh, well, you know what, I just will tell you that I am the bug monster. Bug. <laughs> I am the master bug. There was a stunned silence. Then a door opened and someone exited the neighbor's apartment. That's quite enough. Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. So can can we now co go confront our neighbor? Does this mean gossip? Let's do that. Let's ex I don't care about the interview right now. Exit into the hallway. Leave the apartment. Visit downstairs neighbor. Consume Gabby? We can eat her? Why? Is that an option? Kyle unhitched his jaw and swallowed Gabby whole? Job done, Kyle returned to the middle of the street, back to the hallway. Wait! Oh! So if we ate her, we're not gonna be hungry! Oh my god! Oh my god! I just realized! Okay, yes, 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 yes! Return to the apartment. Okay, we ate, okay, ate checked, right? Now all we need to do is go to the, go to the bedroom. Uh, did I put on the armor? No, I have not put on the armor yet. Open the closet, put on the armor, because now we literally ate the bug girl, so she's not gonna defend us anymore. Grab our suit of armor. We shouldn't be hungry, right? We, we did eat, technically. So, we just gotta sit at the desk and write those notes real quick. Wait! No! No, 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 it's gone! Why is it gone now? We can't ask her if she's guilty anymore. No, no, I, never mind. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Are you guilty is still there. Never mind. I thought it was gone for a second. Okay, I'm really wanting to know how this is gonna happen now. Now I'm just like questioning every choice I make because I don't know how it's gonna change things. It seems so... Oh, we can gossip about the neighbor. Oh, should we do that? I don't know if we should do that. What happens if we... Okay, let's do it. Oh, gossip about the neighbor. Good evening, everybody, said Kyle. My neighbor is a bug vigilante. Wow. With it, with nothing more to say on the matter, he fell silent. More. Rachel also on camera stared at her hands and wondered when she was going to be introduced. The producer started cutting to different camera angles to break tension. Kyle continued to remain silent and stared blankly. After several minutes, Kyle's stomach began to bubble and pop. Suddenly his neck shot straight upwards, spouting from his mouth was an outstretched hand. Holy crap! Gabby climbed out of Kyle's mouth and walked into the center of the set. Hi everyone, she said smiling hollowly. My name is Gabby and I'm not a bug vigilante. False! Kyle looked at Gabby, then returned to staring forwards. Gabby began to reply but was interrupted by a bug-shaped intercom on her belt. Bug girl, it squawked. A robbery is in progress on East 3rd, report, uh, aimed. Gabby threw the intercom on the ground and crushed it under her foot. <laughs> After a pee, she spoke again. Something has come up suddenly and I must go. Gabby left the set. Well, said Kyle, that's all the time we have for tonight. Thanks for joining us, Rachel. 
Kyle got up, shook uh, Rachel's hand again, and walked past the cameras, leaving her alone. Not knowing what else to do, the producer ended the broadcast. In the coming days, fans of both Rachel and Kyle dubbed the show as a masterpiece of television. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, someone literally craw crawled out of my mouth like freaking Orochimaru, man. Stayed up late with Kyle online pages were updated to reflect this broadcast as the most popular ever. Kyle's producer later tried to uh, have Rachel on the show again, but she was very, very, very busy. Kyle talked about Gabby. Oh, wow. So we got quite a bit of endings this time, but I really think that instead if we talk to Rachel while eating uh, Gabby, uh, something different is going to happen. But either way, guys, you're going to have to wait till next time. All right, Scrub of the Day time. Today, Scrub of the Day goes to... Dan and Christine. I'm not sure which one is it, so Dan and Christine is both scrub of the day, I don't know. <laughs> if it wasn't for your comment, I wouldn't have known exactly what to do, so wow. This game is insane. Uh, what's the true ending? I guess you got to find out next time. If you guys like this, please do me a favor, it really helps a ton. You have no idea, smash like. All right, I really, really appreciate it. And scrub, subscribe to become scrub of the day. You never know, you might be next. With that being said, I will see you scrubs in the next one. Bye guys.